Chris Evans is out after Infinity Wars. What? How will the team shake out? Let's get into it on today's Nerdist News. Chris Evans has made a lot of geeky hearts throb over the past decade or so. During his seemingly infinite tenure as a sort of comic book movie factotum, the affable, chisel-chinned actor has played Johnny Storm in The Fantastic Four and even went indie for his portrayal of Lucas Lee in Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. But none of his other comic book movie roles have been more popular or indeed more fitting than his turn as Captain America. Since 2011, Evans has donned the red, white, and blues no less than five times, not including cameos in other Marvel films and, of course, the upcoming Avengers Infinity War. However fulfilling it must be to have played the star-spangled Avenger in so many huge movies, for Evans, nothing seems to be more fulfilling than fulfilling his six-picture Marvel contract. It was stated definitively that his contract will be up after Infinity War and that will be his last fling as America's captain. Now, he has said this sort of thing before. Back in 2014, Evans told Variety magazine that he was done with acting and that he wanted to pursue his true passion of directing, though he changed his tune pretty quickly when Marvel pulled a 180 and made Sam Wilson, aka Falcon, the new Captain America in the comics. But now Evans says his 35-year-old bod just can't take it anymore. The specialized workouts, the promotional tours, and the endless shooting schedules have all taken their toll, and he's finally ready to give Steve Rogers the big adios. Plus, during our Ultimate Marvel Movie Marathon, Bucky Barnes slash Winter Soldier actor Sebastian Stan spoke up in a Nerdist News exclusive, telling us this. You know, I was sitting there in a the room with them, and basically they were saying to me that this is what's going to happen. He's going to become the Winter Soldier, and then eventually he's going to be Captain America. And like, and I was just like, I was like, that sounds great. That sounds great. That sounds great. Now that certainly seems to imply that Sebastian Stan will eventually be taking over as the first Avenger, and there is obviously precedent for this in the comics. So what will that look like exactly? Let's break down what we think Marvel's plans are for the post-Infinity War MCU. Now, if this is truly Cap's last outing, how is he going out? Well, here's what we're thinking. Cap and the rest of the Avengers get their hats and asses handed to them by the godlike Thanos in the Infinity Flicks. It's possible that Cap will sacrifice himself to save some of his friends, emphasis on some, because let's be honest, Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Hemsworth are getting pretty expensive. All of this would then set the stage for an all-new team of heroes, aka the new Avengers. So who might these new members be? Well, along with Winter Soldier as Captain America, you can probably expect to see Spider-Man web his way onto the team. Marvel's finally gotten him back, and now they're never letting go. Never. <laughs> Doctor Strange, Black Panther, and Ant-Man probably have a few billion films left on their contracts. Perhaps Scarlet Witch and Vision will remain to avenge the loss of their leaders. There's also Brie Larson's Captain Marvel, who would be a great replacement powerhouse for a few good but dead heroes. So who else? Marvel has already said that none of their TV characters will be breaking onto the big screen, so Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and Daredevil will most assuredly be bypassed, despite the fact that they all play significant roles under the new Avengers umbrella in the comics. And unfortunately, reviews for Netflix's Iron Fist have been so bad, it's more likely Danny Rand is getting kicked to the curb. But it is possible that Marvel could introduce a new set of characters for the next stage of the Avengers MCU. There's the Sentry, or Spider-Woman, or Lady Thor, also known as Thor. Clint Barton could even make a return as the sword-wielding warrior Ronin, just as he did in the new Avengers comics in the aftermath of the Civil War. And we have seen Guardians on the set of Infinity War, so maybe Gamora or Star-Lord join the new Avengers. However, as much as we'd like to see these heroes, the only truly new character that's been confirmed or even talked about is Captain Marvel. In any case, with this huge list of possibilities, it looks like the Avengers could become a younger, more diverse, weirder, and in fact, more comic book-like team than ever before with more colorful characters and a greater variety of powers. The future is as bright as the explosion Captain America is sure to die in. <laughs> that's so ouchy. <laughs> So which heroes do you think will be joining the Avengers franchise? Who else is going to die so the rest of our heroes can live? And would you let Chris Evans direct your movie? Let's discuss. Big thanks to Capital One for having me back for South by Southwest. I had a blast hanging out at Antone's all week and hope you guys had a blast following along. If you missed anything, you can still check out all of the awesomeness on my Facebook and Twitter, at Jessica Chobot, 
or by perusing hashtag Capital One House. There's a lot of good stuff. I tested out the first chatbot ever created by a US bank, got inspired by some female entrepreneurs, got to jam out with Aloe Black, who was amazing. It was actually a really good show. So make sure and check it out. Now, for those of you that dropped by Capital One House, thank you, and you're awesome. And for those of you who dropped in virtually, thank you, and you're awesome, because everybody's awesome. Everybody's awesome. Oh, we can't do that, huh? We don't have licensing. Ooh. Be sure to tune in every day at 1 p.m. on YouTube, Facebook, and Alpha this month for Nerdist News Talks Back. We're breaking down who is the best villain of all time for March Badness, so help us figure out who is the best at being the worst. It's Matt Karen. Gotta leave that in.